Hi everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos. I took a short break from creating videos to recharge my batteries. Now I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how to series. In this video, we're going to learn how to edit existing animations. There are multiple techniques to do this and I'm going to cover it using the tools in Unreal Engine starting first with the basic animation sequence editor. I'll create separate tutorials for the sequencer and animation blueprint techniques so stay tuned for that. With the animation sequence editor we'll cover editing additive edits and adjust the curve, trimming animations, combine animations together, then record and create new animation assets. This is an easy one, let's go. So I'm starting off with a third person template. You could use or import any animations that you like. In this video, I'm going to use the default animations from the UE mannequins. So I'm going to start with the MF Idol animation sequence here. So if you want to make edit to this animation using the animation sequence, I have some options here. So I could select for the particular bone. So I have the skeleton tree here available for me. I can search for the bone that I want to edit like so. Or I could also go under the character menu here and search for all bones and then hold all hierarchy that would display all the bones for me. So when I have the head selected here, I want it to look left and right. So when I click on the key here that's going to create an additive layer track below here for the particular bone it would have the it would have the translation rotation and scale so i want it to look in this direction say around there and i'm going to move the timeline to around 25 here and create a key that would create a keyframe in that section and i'm going to move it to around 50 then create another key. I'm going to move it to 75. Create another key and around 95. Look in the other direction. Create another key. And around here, I'm going to have another key so it would reset the position back. So looking into that, it will look like this. Look there. Pause a little. Look at the other side. Pause a little. Cool. Now, if you want to edit the curves, you could um click on this uh, bar here it would open up the curve editor now you can see that this particular animations have their uh, particular keyframe in them so i could select these and i could change the type of um, interpolation so this is linear at the moment so i could change it to uh, cubic to make the transition a bit smoother so it's gonna ramp up slow down and Similar here, I could do the same here and change the to cubic interpolation. Now the animation will look a little bit smoother. So you could tweak this as you want. Cool. And when I save this and go back to my third person here, because that is used in the animation blueprint, when I hit play here, my character by default will start looking around when it's on idle, running, it won't be affected, but once it moves idle, it will start looking around. Cool. So that's one way to use the animation sequence editor. Uh, another way is you want to trim the animation. So for example, this move uh, run forward. I'm actually going to duplicate this. I don't want to touch the original. So here, if I click on here, you would see that this character runs a bit faster. So I could go under the asset details here under rate scale. If I lower this to 0.5, my character would uh, run a bit uh, slower and this is around uh, 53 frames so what you could do as well is trim it so around this section uh, I could right click and any frames at the left from 0 to 14 would be deleted and the animation would start from there and if I wanted to end around here and I could do the same I could remove uh, trim it on the right section here so from frame 30 to 40 that would trim it down save so that would create a new uh, trim down version of this animation another thing you could do on the sequence editor is you could combine animations together 
So let's jump back in the content drawer. I could pick one of these animation sequences as a starting point. Uh, right click, create, and then you have three options here. Anim composite, anim montage, and pose as it. We're just going to cover uh, composite in this video. I'll cover compo uh, animation montage on a separate video. So this animation composite would allow us to combine animations together. So this is the slow run forward animations that we have. I could um, grab one of this animation sequence and drop it here and that would create another segment here in the composite layer. And then I could have jump as well. So the combination that I'm doing uh, doesn't really matter here. Um, it doesn't make sense but this is how you would combine animations together. So imagine you have a group of animations that kind of blend seamlessly. You could group them together using uh, animation composite. Uh, there's a few tweaks you could do here because it doesn't really blend. Your animation doesn't really blend from one animation to the other. So what you, you could do here is you could also have the option to trim when the animation starts or how long the animation is. For this particular run, it's 0.93 seconds. So I could say 0.5 trim it down. This idle is 7.5 seconds. I can say one second. And this particular jump animation. So here, from here to here, we could say don't start at this animation. Start at this animation. We could stay start at 0 0.03. Yeah. So from 0 0.03, this is the starting position and then we'd Cool. So that is how you would combine animations together using the animation composite. Now another uh, cool thing here with the animation sequence editor is you could record it to create new animation assets. So if I hit the record button here and it's asking me for animation so I'm just going to say combine and let's put this in the queen folder. Uh, 30 FPS is fine. and it's gonna start recording here. So it would record even though our character is on pause mode. So once I start playing, that's the time it would start um, capture everything. And when I hit stop, it would create that combined animation for me. So if I open that up, you would see it's playing, but it's not animating because the animation started when I hit the play button, which is around here. So with this one, you could use the trimming technique when the animation starts, you could right click and then say remove from 0 to 239. Save. But this is still um, a bit uh, long, so I'm just going to trim it a little bit more. Cool. So that's how you would create new animation assets from um, the animation composite or using that record button. Cool. So hope you like this short, easy video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.